Howdy folks, this is the new version Skywalker 1830mm wingspan um, and it came from banggood.com, they sent it to me for review, thanks very much Banggood and purchase links as usual are in the description. Now I can't really show you the design on the box because it's all been taped up by the courier I guess, um, but if I upend it, this is what's in the box. Now the first thing that strikes you about this model is that it is absolutely enormous. Look at the size of that fuselage. You could fit so many batteries in here, it's ridiculous. The wingspan is 1830, wing cord is uh, uh, 25 centimeters, or that's a 10 inch wing cord all the way through. The uh, horizontal stabilizer is 21 inches. There's lots of laser cut uh, plywood parts. Uh, that all form strengthening skeleton internal and external for the fuselage. Now it took me ages to work out what this collection of pieces was for. So that turns into a little um, FPV transmitter mount that uh, just gives you a flat platform to um, mount the uh, FPV transmitter on. Part of the problem is that there are no instructions that come with the model there's a decent thread on RC groups as well, uh, and I'll put a link to that as well. Uh, but there are no clear instructions about how to build it. So I guess that's my task to um, try and set out clearly and simply how to put this thing together. There's a fair bit of gluing involved to uh, glue all these strengthening parts into the fuselage. But once that's done, I think it pretty much just bolts and screws together. Uh, this is the kit version, so I have to add my own motor and servos. Let's have fun putting this thing together. Starting with the wing mount area, and I'm using the supplied glue. Um, and just gluing those external plywood plates on. Now these little tubes actually get glued into the wing as locators, but uh, I can use it here to make sure that plate is aligned properly. There they go, that's where they go in the wing. So I'm not actually gluing these in, I'm just using them to locate. There's an internal plate as well. And there's a little tab that passes through and this actually holds the wing from sliding off the wing spar. Now this plate needs to be at the same angle on both sides uh, of the fuselage because those three little um, slots have to accept the top deck inside. You'll see that later on. I'm inserting the wing spar to make sure everything is lined up properly. Clamping it in place to glue. And I've done both sides of the fuselage and passed the wing spar through both of them so that both sides are aligned properly. And just making sure those all those tubes don't get glued in because they're all going to be removable. So here's the internal uh, decking, I guess you'd call it. Just uh, test fitting there. And you'll need to um, sort of pre-glue those three together because you won't be able to uh, get them apart once they're in position. So I'm just applying a bit of glue where they all um, attach. Now these are the three slots that need to be at the same angle on both sides of the fuselage. Uh, so when you're first gluing that part in, you need to sort of uh, eyeball it on both sides, gluing all the surfaces where the plywood will sit. It uses quite a lot of glue, this model, and I ran out of the two tubes pretty quickly. Now this is the uh, clamping sleeve that holds the tail boom into the fuselage and it's, um, it's set up so that the tail boom can be removable. Those top holes pass right through the fuselage so you can get a, uh, a hex wrench in from the outside and tighten and loosen that clamp. So gluing that into the fuselage now making sure it's the right way so that I can uh, tighten and loosen it through the holes. 
now gluing the two sides of the fuselage together so I have to put glue on all the mating surfaces and where those plywood parts are going to sit as well. And if you've been careful, especially with those uh, inner wing mount plates, everything will align properly and start looking like a fuselage. While that's happening I can move on to the little spars uh, that need to be glued into the horizontal stabiliser and the wings, top and bottom of the wings. This is a little um, carbon fibre or fibreglass rod and in the wings they are uh, carbon fibre strips, about 6mm by 1mm strips, top and bottom. I'm freeing up the elevator here which needs to be uh, cut away a little bit there. And that foam hinge looks really dodgy to me. That's not going to last long at all. Uh, so I'm going to add some Blenderm tape to the top and get rid of all those uh, daggy bits of foam and uh, strengthen it with hot glue. So you just put a little bit of hot glue on the, on the uh, hinge and then scrape off as much as you can. Now gluing in the control horns, and these are totally inadequate. These are a joke, surely. They're not going to last any time at all. So I'm going to strengthen it with a backing plate of um, ID card plastic uh, sitting over the top of that control horn. And the idea of this is to spread the load over a wider area of foam so that it doesn't just pull out the first time you try and use it. Now I'm attaching the vertical stabiliser to the tail boom and there's another couple of little clamping sleeves that go on and uh, they've provided some long extension, uh, servo extension cords that uh, you pass down the middle of the tail boom first and then put the little sleeves on and I'm just making sure the servo leads are routed correctly in their channels and you need to make sure that tail boom is pushed right up into the end of the little sleeve and into the keys. And I'm just gluing that in now. And tightening up those clamping screws once I'm sure the tail boom is all the way back into that back sleeve. And once that's cured, uh, we can glue the other side of the vertical stabiliser on. Just making sure I don't lose those servo extensions. Checking that everything's tight and then gluing the two sides together. And you have to make sure that those servo wires uh, don't get glued in. You, you need to be able to sort of pull them back into the fuselage. Taping it up to let the glue cure. Now I'm gluing those little locating tubes into the wing itself with the uh, plywood plate that goes on the end of the wing. Now back to the fuselage and I'm just making sure the tail boom is actually going to fit into that clamping sleeve that I glued into the fuselage before and I've loosened off the um, hex screws and yes it slides in beautifully. That's working well. Now I'm gluing the uh, wing spar covers in and I don't want to get any glue in the actual channel because I don't want to glue the wing spar in or obstruct it. Um, so just trying to keep the glue out toward the edges. And after a quick visit by one of the local butcher birds, back to the build. These are the little plastic hard points that have to be glued on the inside for the uh, side hatches to screw into. This is the attachment plate for the uh, nose hatch. It gets glued onto the fuselage, taped into position. This is the uh, landing gear pad that just gets glued on underneath the fuselage. This is the latch and the uh, attachment hole for the top hatch. They just get glued into position. Pretty obvious where they go. And these are the nuts that hold the uh, wing into the fuselage. They just get glued into the spot, both wings. This is the uh, cover for the nose hatch. 
and the uh, control horn for the rudder and its reinforcing patch. Just using some little weights to hold that in position while it cures. Now I'm freeing up the uh, ailerons and that hinge is no good so that will also need the Blenderm tape and hot glue hinge treatment. This plastic plate is glued on the top of the vertical stabiliser. I'm just roughening it up so it uh, adheres very well because this holds the horizontal stabiliser on and the servo wire has to pass through that hole. Now this is the corresponding plate that goes on the horizontal stabiliser and I hope that glue is strong enough. I'm not really confident at the moment. We shall see. Alright, we can assemble it now. Sliding the wing on. And then pushing those locators into the little hole. Putting the tail boom in and uh, sliding the servo wires up into the cockpit and then tightening up that clamp so that it holds the tail boom on and then connecting the horizontal stable of the elevator servo wire and pulling it through into the fuselage and then just clicking the horizontal stabilizer on now securing the wing and this is the aileron servo it's being hot glued in push rod adjustment little wiggle of the aileron to make sure it's working this is the rudder servo going in and I had to leave a little space for the leftover servo lead there push rod bit of reinforcing tape over the servos the under nose hatch keys onto these three screws and uh, you can lock it down tight through the holes provided now my motor wouldn't mount onto the uh, provided motor mount so I had to make up this a plate to screw it into but that was pretty easy and I'm just scoring up the motor mount so that it'll glue in nice and securely just using hot glue for this bit and that's looking good and I can adjust the motor angle if I want to as well there we are all finished and this thing is ginormous I can pass my little camera straight through the fuselage there. It'll be interesting to see how this flies.